Hey everyone, here's how you can make an educational screencast video using an iPad and an app called Doceri, quick, fast, and easy. I'm going to show you how to do it. Here we go. All right, first thing you're going to do is open up the app Doceri, and then you're going to create a new document. And there's all these backgrounds to choose from. I'm just going to choose white, though I often draft my videos in a background like this so I can write um, straight across and not have my text kind of go down. First thing you do is draw out a picture that you want. So there I have my diagram that I'm going to narrate over as I replay back through it. So I can use this timeline feature to play back through my drawing. And I can play back through it slowly if I want, or I can play back through it really quickly. I can also put in stops. So maybe I want to make a stop after I say sell body so I have plenty of time to talk about it. I can add in a stop right there. And then maybe I want to stop after my dendrites. I want to stop after axon. And then that'll take me to the end. And so now I'm ready to record. And whenever I'm ready to record, I'll just play through it. It'll draw it out while I narrate over it. And it'll stop. And whenever I'm ready to go to the next part, I can hit play again. It'll narrate. It'll go to the next section. I can also point things out if I take the iPad and flip it vertical then I can point here at the top. So as I'm narrating, I can point to different things and say, okay, this right here is the cell body. These are the dendrites. I've got dendrites over here and here and here. This whole thing is the axon. So I can say things like that while I'm recording. Um, if I flip to vertical and point at the top part, if I point at the bottom, it'll draw. And I can draw while I'm narrating as well. I like to draw everything out first and then just play back through it and then narrate over it. But you can actually be drawing and working out a problem or a diagram while you're recording as well. That's another option. So if I come back here, I'm ready to record. I'm just going to hit record here, start recording. Um, hey, everyone, welcome to the video. Um, this is all about multipolar neurons. So I'm going to sketch out my neuron here. And we can see that it's got different parts to it. The first part I want to talk about is the cell body. The cell body, blah, 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 blah. We've got dendrites as well. Dendrites are going to take in signals from other neurons um, into the cell body. We've got the axon, which is going to take um, that signal and it's going to transfer that signal down to, the, to this other end over here. And what happens, I can draw some arrows here to show that signal traveling down this direction. And those will eventually reach the axon terminal. And the axon terminal will communicate that message to another neuron. All right, I'm going to hit stop record there. Now I've got a recording that I can share directly to YouTube, or I can export it as um, some, uh, you know, as a just as a video file to upload to whatever learning management software I have, and then my students can watch that. I can assign that to students. I like to do drawings like this, and students just have their own paper and they draw out the diagrams with me. I think that helps them remember if they actually do the diagrams themselves, and it's very clear like what's supposed to be in their notes. They should have everything that I wrote plus. Um, just little notes about like what each thing does about the functions of the different parts. So yeah, as simple as that, I did that in just a few minutes. Um, now I put a lot more time and care into my videos because I care about that, but it doesn't matter, right? If you can make a video quickly and get it out to your students, your students see you delivering the instruction to them and you can tell it however you want. You can do it quick, fast, and easy like this and, and it's it works really well, I think. One of the things Doceri also integrates with PowerPoint really well. So if you have slides that you want to annotate and, and work with, you can do that. It also works okay with Google Slides. So if you have Google Slides that you want to draw on and annotate, you can do that as well if you don't want to just freehand draw everything as you're making your videos. If you want to see the actual video that I just recorded, I'm going to play that at the end of this video. So just stick around if you want to see what the final product looks like of, of that um, quick, fast, and easy video I just recorded. And uh, have fun making videos. Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Um, this is all about multipolar neurons. So I'm going to sketch out my neuron here and we can see that it's got different parts to it. The first part I want to talk about is the cell body. The cell body, blah, 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 blah. We've got dendrites as well. Dendrites are going to take in signals from other neurons um, into the cell body. We've got the axon, which is going to take um, that signal and it's going to transfer that signal down to, the, to this other end over here. And what happens I can draw some arrows here to show that signal traveling down this direction. And those will eventually reach the axon terminal. And the axon terminal will communicate that message to another neuron.